All right, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, got another creation out of the shop, I guess. Um, a couple years ago, when we first moved to the house, we um, had a woman run into our telephone pole out front and took out our power. So I got this generator, and when they redid all the stuff outside, I had to put a generator hookup so I can hook this up to my house through this. I think it's a NEMA 50 cord. Um, but uh, the cart that came on it had these little tiny tires on it that would hook in these little spots right here. And uh, it would get uh, bound up in the gravel. So I uh, was seeing online different things people were doing with them. And um, I decided to do a tow behind trailer for the tractor. And um, that way I could take it to other parts of the property if I needed to work on something like run a welder or um, power tools or something like that, I can take it to the other part of the um, property and have no trouble getting power. But um, I chopped up an old uh, lawn trailer, like those little cheap tow behind things you get from TSC I had laying around. And that's where the axle and the tongue came from. But I had to extend the tongue because um, it was too short for what, uh, for the, uh, three-point hitch attachment on the back so I extended that made a new tongue for it um, and put this uh, like a on a trailer how you can raise and lower I put that on there I just got weld that nut onto the top and um, I welded the bar onto the tongue but I'm still learning to weld and uh, I don't want that to break while it's running so that's why I had those u-bolts on it just like a precaution because I'm not that good at welding I just got the machine, so I'm still testing it out. But um, most of it's wood, which, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. It's all pressure treated, uh, decking material. But the the generator don't rest on the wood. It rests on the axle, so the wood really isn't supporting the weight too much. So I think it should be all right. But um, I welded these up. Put a little nut on there and a, and a nut that way i could tighten these feet these feet go up and down that way i can stand on its own like it is now while it's running and not have to worry about it i mean i can leave it hooked to the tractor but if i need to use the tractor and leave this as like a stationary generator i can drop these feet and now it's you know it's good to go it's not gonna roll back or tip forward or something like that but um i attached the bucket to the trailer i need to get a gamma lid to put on top um, so I can have a screw open screw top so um, I can get the stuff in and out but uh, I did test I left the bucket there and I left this PVC there and I ran the motor for about an hour and the hottest either of these ever got was um, I think 105 which is for the bucket well the bucket didn't even get that high I got like 80 degrees and I think it was 85 outside so I don't understand that but the PVC was rated, I think, at like 200 degrees, you know, boiling water for, you know, out of a hot water heater. So it could take a lot more heat than that. Um, so the exhaust doesn't affect it all. And if it did, I mean, I guess I could do something like run a piece to direct it somewhere else or something. But, um, yeah, and the PVC is, I don't have it yet. I have to buy it, but it's going to be a tarp. And uh, you just drape the tarp like a tent over the sides and uh, stake it into the ground and then that way you can leave it outside it can be raining that's why it goes forward to the front that way it can be even across so it'd be covering the front covering the back so even if you get some really hard rain it'll protect it still but um that's what i've done for my trailer um i've drove it around um and uh tested it and it's pretty stable i kept it I was originally just gonna cut it the size of the trailer off and mount it onto that. But those trailers, they sit so high that I was afraid if I took a bump or something, the whole thing would tip over because it's so heavy up top. I mean, that generator is not that large, but it's heavy. I mean, it's 300 pounds maybe. I mean, it's, I haven't looked it up, but it's, it's heavy. It took every bit of me to get it just up that high. But, um, and I bolted it down with U-bolts um, to the frame. And, uh, and it's pretty pretty strong. The tongue does have a little flex in it side to side, but it shouldn't be moving side to side, just front to back and slight vibrations. But I think it'll work. 
I think it's pretty decent for what I got. I'll have to get a, a cable so I can attach it to my ground and I'll get some stakes and put it in here. That way if I ever put it somewhere and you know, you're supposed to ground it to in the ground. So I'll just do that and not have to worry about it. Um, I've never grounded a generator. I never knew you were supposed to. Um, so I learned that out once I got, I never owned a generator. I just used other people's, but, um, but that's what I got. Um, I haven't had a chance to really tarp it, test it out, run it for a while. So I'm hoping to get a tarp this weekend and test it out and see how well it works. But I think it should do pretty good. Beats, beats lugging it around. That's for sure. Well, all right, YouTube. You got any comments or questions, leave them in the bottom. Have a good day. See you.